welcome to Amsterdam. Wow. So it's gonna be both sides. <gasps> That's so pretty. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm at the train station in London. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking a train over to Amsterdam. Boarding the train now, it's about like 5.50 a.m. in the morning. I made it to Amsterdam. This is crazy. This is where the fault in our SARS was filmed. The sole reason why I'm here in Amsterdam is because I read The Faults in Our Stars. I fell in love with the book, with the romance story. I watched the movie. And if you didn't know, it's based in Amsterdam. I'm just having like a little fangirl moment. After watching the movie, I was like, I have to go here. So here I am. It's exciting. about the pastries that I just ate. Absolutely delicious. I loved the atmosphere in that cafe. So basically it was vegan and gluten-free and there was almond butter in it and then passion fruit. And I'm not a big passion fruit fan and I actually really did like it. It was very interesting. I got a chocolate chip hazelnut cookie with sea salt on top. That was heavenly. And the chocolate chips were melting too. Like it was, it was next level. I'm gonna go to an acai bowl place that does art on top of the acai bowl, which looks crazy. So I hope it's open. We'll see. <laughs> starting to get a little bit burned out from all of this traveling like go 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 staying in a place for like 
24 to 48 hours never really finding like that grounding sensation that I, I like truly crave when I get to a place where I can finally like have a nice grocery store and get a good like workout routine down it's like I have to go to the next place and I hate saying that because this has always been like my dream to you know travel the world but this there's two different types of traveling actually there's probably three different types of traveling in my opinion first is fast traveling which is what i'm doing now which is slow traveling is you go to multiple different places but you stay there for a longer amount of time vacationing i would say is the last category and that's where you just go to a certain destination for a small amount of time and like ball out enjoy yourself like do what you want to do i got my green juice i just miss like doing all like my health things that kind of keep me like sane like like my skin has been like breaking out like crazy and it's one of like my biggest insecurities it used to be one of my biggest biggest insecurities is my skin because i used to have acne like everywhere until i went on accutane and it kind of helped it's just like when i eat very clean it's it's good for my face but like when i eat dairy and a ton of oil and just like processed foods like it just gets really bad it's, it's frustrating and i know juice always helps and it's hard to find like cold pressed juice here that doesn't have like random stuff in it so i think it's safe to say i'm at a point of this journey where i'm very excited to return back to the united states and just kind of move into my slow travel era but it's also kind of scary because like the next chapter of my life is gonna be completely different and i feel like i'm having Ooh, getting emotional. I feel like I'm having a hard time letting go of my old life because you know when you get back from a vacation and you start like unpacking everything and you immediately kind of get back into your old routine? Well, like I don't have an old routine anymore. Like I threw all my stuff away. Like I don't have an own apartment. And I have a few other business ideas that I'm super excited about and investments that I want to make. I feel like this trip has really helped me to change my mindset of becoming better at letting go. Because if I fall in love with the country or I fall in love with the grocery store or a smoothie bowl place, like I have to let it go. I can't hold on to it. I can't go back to it every day. I have to, I have to let it go. I have different places I have to go on my journey and like I just I keep jumping around. So I've learned to just let go gracefully <laughs> for the most part. The other thing is not be afraid to take chances, but believing in myself. I think that was like the main thing I never did before. <laughs> That's why it was so hard for me to travel full time and quit my job and like do all the things because I never believed that this life was for me. Using all that, like I hope this kind of inspires someone watching this, but if you want all these things and you've tried everything like I want to start a business or I want to find like a boyfriend or I want to get skinny or like whatever your goal is, if you don't believe in yourself, then you're missing like the main key ingredient for the recipe to work because the moment you believe in yourself it's like the magic kicks in if that makes sense because it's like that's it like you've decided and now everything is just gonna work be centered your focus and it's like that's it like you can't see anything over here because you're looking straight at your goal and that's it like there's no other option one of my really good friends he's always like there is no plan b we're just doing this and that's it and i'm like i love that like that's a beautiful mindset my grandma okay. i can't see you grandma oh my gosh yes Sit. i can grandma i can't see you have to turn the camera around oh what do i have to do with this okay. <laughs> turn the camera i'm terrible at this <gasps> yes yay <laughs> yay oh, say hi to the camera <laughs> you look so good your camera is so clear too oh yeah well isn't that good yeah Oh my gosh, I'm good. We miss you. Oh my gosh. So much. Miss well, you too.